Good, good. Okay, let me get this recording started. Um, I'll get your form pulled up here too. Uh, I didn't and then, know what I wrote on the form. No, that's uh, fine. I mean, obviously, you just let me know what's relevant and what's not relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So what got you interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching? Um, it's mainly just uh, player development. Like, I want to be the best I can, essentially. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And, and you said you've been around for a while, um, kind of coming back, get back in the swing of things. Uh, so yeah. So I, I got top, like top 16 OD in 2021. And then like, I kind of quit. Mm -hmm. Like I lost passion. And then I, I came back like two months ago and I started just hard grinding again. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Makes sense. Now what got you back? Um, franchising gone. Mm. So like, and then, so I'm guessing like tier two will have less nepotism, hopefully, if there's like a new tier one mm -hmm. where people can just, instead of people like making rosters with their friends and like having like this buddy buddy type of relationship, <sighs> people will actually like pick the best players they can. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. You're saying like the social crap is kind of what burned you up. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. it, was, it wasn't more like, it wasn't like, Oh, you had to be a good player to get tier two. It was you had to be a good player and be friends with these people, like mm -hmm. know them for like. I, I, it just felt a little bit fake. Okay, okay, okay. That was that something I assume you dealt with then. <clears throat> um, and some of my friends dealt with it. I w I wasn't at a level where like I would have dealt with it at that point, but it just ah. didn't feel right for me to like. I dealt with it in tier three, like top tier three, but not tier two. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. so then you were like. Hearing about these things, and you're like, uh, "What's the point?" Yeah, yeah if I was yeah. good to focus on what's the point. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. So, what got you back? The like you said, the the shifting of was it was it just the shifting of the continents in terms of the uh, the pro scene, or is it more than that? Um, Obviously, it's been a long time. World Cup. Also, I want to play for Team UK one day. Uh, okay. And also, one of my friends wanted me to play in a French land tournament, so I'm kind of just getting back into the game for okay. that. Makes sense. How are you enjoying Overwatch 2? Um, it's actually quite fun. Uh, I'd say Overwatch 6v6 has a lot more depth, but Overwatch yeah. 5v5 is a lot easier to get into for new players. So it's like this kind of trade-off. Makes sense. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. And you're a hit scan. Yeah. Why a uh, hit scan? Because obviously, that, I assume that's been something that you've been doing for quite a long time. I'm Kovax pilled. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Hit scan <laughs> players are, are it's a it's a genetic trait. I'm convinced. <laughs> okay so <clears throat> go ahead it was actually a really bad issue i think i fixed it now but like i genuinely i would rely on my aim so much i would like just 1v6 like in overwatch one just walk into that team and try <laughs> and kill everything but that's uh improved yeah hopefully 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 surely okay makes sense uh okay so two to four hours per day of overwatch how is that spent is that all ranked uh yeah ranked so ranked actually right now it's um if i have scrims then it's two hours of scrims and then uh two hours of ranked and then maybe the day after i do a vod review with my coach um mm -hmm. and then uh sometimes i stream so like in stream i just go autopilot mode i don't really care what i'm doing to be honest so it's not like okay. productive yeah. time yeah okay makes sense how how often do you scrimmage um right now it's like three times a week yeah. And so it's like six hours of scrims and then two hours of ranked, or there's sometimes three to four hours of ranked of days and you don't have scrims. Yeah. Yeah. That seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. Uh, and then in terms of hero pool, what's your hero pool like usually? I guess just um, do you have do you have a do you have a screenshot? I, I guess no, because it that won't include scrimmages. What are the main hit scans that you're playing right now? The main hit scans that I'm playing right now are Sojourn. With a, that's about it, for scrims. Sure. My, my hero pool is basically all hit scans. My, my sim is not as good, and then uh, my hands is probably my best hero. And my tracer okay. is probably one of my best heroes as well. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. I think that that's the nature of scrimmaging is that you're always going to have to prioritize a couple of characters. Yeah. Um, but in terms of your ability to learn and play other hit scans, you need to be able to play all of them. Yep. Just maybe not Definitely. all at the same time. Uh, so what I would do is. I would, whenever possible, I know this sounds boring, but try to have your ranked hero pool mirror your scrim hero pool as much as you possibly can. Yeah, I do. I, I'm like two tricking widow surgeon in ranked. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I think the only exception to that rule is, is if there's a hit scan character that you want to pick up, like you're trying to learn better. Like, let's say you were trying to like learn how to play Sombra better because you think that the Sombra might be better soon. Um, having like another account or just playing it on your main um, is, yep. is good too. I know yep. a lot of people that were like too tricking and working on this character, but then they were like developing this character behind the scenes. Just basically, you don't want to be playing the rainbow, right? You don't want to be playing like the entire yeah. hit scan hero pool at any given time because even if the hit scan like meta shifted tomorrow and you had to learn Cassidy, you could just spend hard- your time into, right. into just, other things. Right, exactly. You just gr- hard grind Cassidy for a week and you'd be fine. Um, there's not like any rush usually. Okay. <clears throat> Goals, path to pro, competing again. Now, competing again, I assume, is like this: these little lands and the French tournaments that you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, like if there's a new open division, like I know open division, yeah, different, yeah, yeah. Anymore, like same yeah. format. Same yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, makes sense. Um, uh, what do you feel coming back from improving? You say focus. What do you mean focus? Um, so I used to play a lot more, <clears throat> uh, six, eight hours a day, and my sleep used to be awful. Like my sleep still is kind of bad, but it's like getting a little bit better. So I find myself like. Uh, when I wake up, I'd be very low energy, like for the entire day. So it would be like this, like I don't know how to explain it. It would be like this um, fuzziness in my mind, where like I can't think about what I'm doing in game. So I just like int, and it's like uh, it's like this cycle of me going on a win streak one day and then losing like five in a row one day, and just like keep repeating this essentially. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Um... But it sounds like there's something that you've improved a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's um, so like if I'm feeling low energy, I'll just go on my alt account, which like I don't really care about essentially. Okay, okay. I'm glad that you've improved your sleep. Um, I'm also glad that you've <clears throat> maybe cut down a little bit on your playtime and maybe made it a little bit higher quality. Keep an yeah. eye on that. It's always easier to work harder or, or work more. But it's hard to work harder, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it, um, it, everyone like thinks so. Oh yeah, if you want to get better at the game, just play more. It's not really like yeah simple. It's not as simple as that. Because yeah. by playing more, you might have more mistakes when you're not focused, and then that might come into your like right, right. when you're trying to focus. Whenever you're trying to get better at something, I think that you should always first evaluate like, do you have like the bench basic benchmark of playtime, like three to four hours? No. And for you, the answer is yes, right? So then, yeah. once you've done that, then you need to ask yourself, what can I be doing better? Like, not necessarily yep. what do I need to be doing more, but what do I need to be doing better? Because that's a lot harder to me. Okay. Goals, path to pro, focus, macro. Uh, I assume this is just a general understanding of, like, how the game functions. Yeah, I'd say, um, I've because, like, when I wrote this, I was literally just getting back into the game. But mm-hmm. comparing it to a lot of people in the scene right now, I feel like I'm a lot better. But I still mm-hmm. feel like I lack a lot. But I don't know if that's, like, the Dunning-Kruger effect or, like, I genuinely lack a lot. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, tempo and when to play slow and fast. Okay. Yeah. Um, you want to elaborate on that? Cause it sounded like you had something to say. Um, it's more like, okay. So I, I did like do some research into this, but it's more how my comp plays into like a certain comp. Like, okay. So if I'm running Sigma comp mm-hmm. against the dive, like, um, when we need to be doing stuff against dive, like it's in their down t- downtime. Yeah. But like, yeah. I-, I find we don't really pressure them in their downtime. And um, against poke, it's-, it's generally like how to play against different comps with my comp. Essentially. Got it. Got it. Okay. And then your tempo, when to play slow fast, you have 10 DP slash per 10 on most heroes I play. Yeah, 10 that's for 10. It's actually, yeah. uh, like, I-, I was very known for just dying and wrecked for mm, killing five mm. each time okay makes sense makes sense um and then seven hours for sleep a night per average obviously it sounds like something you've continued to improve. i would say yeah. the goal you may never get there it would but the goal would be to eight and a half hours of sleep per night okay um for what you're doing the average person could deal with eight i think with somebody that's applying something as intense as this at your age needs to be aiming for eight and a half um okay. but yeah that's that's uh you know a goal and I'm, i think you should be very proud of yourself for even improving to the level that you have is what it is now. So, um, okay. Thank I you. don't really have any other questions. Do you have any other questions? Uh, I do not. Okay. Do you want to take a look at some gameplay then? Yes, let's do that. So on this icon world map, I think we get stuck at the, and I'm like, what do I do here? Essentially.
Uh, also for Sojourn, I do have like a slight question. Mm. Mm -hmm. So my disruptor shot, and I know like from watching you, but this is a very big like issue with you. You, you hate when people like use it very wrong. <laughs> um, it's more, I hold it, like I found in this part, I hold it a lot until like I find an opportunity for it, but sometimes Which there might not you, be an opportunity for it. I read Psycho Billy. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead, sorry. So like I, I find I hold it until I have like a perfect opportunity for it here. And like um sometimes it might not be a perfect opportunity, like even if I wait. So like is it fine using it? Like if it's mid fight essentially? I would say the first good opportunity that you see to use it, use it. Okay. But the key term is recognizing those good opportunities and not the, yeah. you know, just seeing any sort of value as a good opportunity, because any value is not good. An opportunity yep. is not good opportunity. So what we can do is we can start off. Well, we'll talk about like your general play style versus this and all that kind of stuff. But like the most part, if you'd like to, we could start off by really putting attention onto disruptor shot. So anything major with the enemy composition that adjusts how you play or how you position or anything like that? Uh, junk rats. Right. Not, but not really. Like you just need to be careful of him. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Hold an angle, do damage. If you were to use Disruptor Shot now, would you get a significant value? No. Why not? Because they're not going to walk in. Okay, but are you, is your team walking in? Yes. Is this a fight commitment and or are you guys taking space? Yeah. Will this Disruptor so Shot could, help you to take space? Yeah. Okay, so where I should you stop place it? From, uh, just where the Genji is. Okay. It's right here, right? Well, it's the Soj, but yeah, right here, yeah, right? Yeah, it was Soj. Yeah. But then they don't yep. peek, they don't do damage. The BAP can't peek, the Soj can't we, do uh, damage. We just need to be worried about Junkrat then and we can get mm -hmm. free rotate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this should be a disruptor shot right now, placed right at Sojourn's feet. Okay. Because you notice now that you've not had that opportunity to walk forward. I promise you, if you disruptor shot, your Sigma walks forward. Okay. Yeah, because then they can't really put pressure on mm -hmm. them. Minimal impact. Why? She's gold. She's gold, right? So yeah. then here, it would be better to save it, use it either now or use it on the BAP now, or even you see what you're looking at now? Yep. There's another disruptor shot opportunity right here. Yep. Right? Throw it at her, walk over here with rail and get a kill. Okay. Overall, not a whole lot to say about your positioning. Obviously, like the angle is fine. Not a whole lot to talk about. I assume that this is just a cap, so. Yeah. <laughs> that scepter shot is fine. But obviously, you know. Junkrat players. Different breed. <laughs> I hate Junkrat's prayer. Honestly. Now, this is an interesting one. I wouldn't say this is a goodie. Okay. Why? They have the speeding, I think, and they can just walk past it. It's okay. more it's better to do it like if they're pushing like where my sig is a bit back from where my sig is, if my sure. sig gives up that space or where I am. Sure. I'm trying to push me. Thoughts? I think that's good. Right. Or like a bit more f forward because it stops them. It like makes them hesitate if they want to push. They have no speed, so like they have to be careful on if they want to push this. Why well, does stopping them from pushing benefit you? How does it benefit you? Uh, we control the high ground a little bit longer. And what about what does it do for you? It gives us more space between them and us. We're poke comp. They're brawl comp. Are they? Are they? Is this creating space between you two right now? Uh, I'd say so that they can't like push us. So you're buying yourself time, though. You're not buying yeah, yourself yeah. space. Yeah, we're just waiting for... Uh, okay. So here we're just playing for May, their mate to wall us off. So we're just saying, just drop before she walls us, essentially. So, so you, you bought yourself... Time. Let's see here. It's like three seconds, I think. Is that three seconds worth a 15-second cooldown? Maybe not. Why not? Uh, because it can be used in a... Like, I can just wait and use it in a different way. In what way? What do you see? Here? Maybe... Uh, 
f- four of them pushing us. Like if I do it now, then they can't really kite it. Okay. And then what would what, what would that mean for you? Uh, pers- maybe a kill. Maybe a kill. What else would it do? What does this team want to do? Brawl us. Brawl us. So what does this disruptor shoe a uh, shot do? Excuse me. It kind of stops them from brawling us. They can't. Well, it, like they they might still brawl, right? Yeah. They might still brawl, but it's going to make it very painful for them. To yeah. Brawl. Yeah. So them to consider. Because if they can wait out the cooldown, that's bad. And you're like thinking, well, couldn't they have done that here too? Remember the disruptor shot in the Sojourn? What was yeah. the difference between that situation and this situation? Uh, they, weren't mo- they weren't moving as a team. And they wouldn't have pushed. To it. Like we had map control on... Well, you guys we were had- pushing. Yeah, right? yeah. You guys were engaging. Yeah. Now they're engaging. When nothing is happening, neither team is poking, neither team is engaging, then the disruptor shot should not be used. Okay. But now, that's a huge disadvantage for your team. That was a huge opportunity for a huge disruptor shot. Okay. Nice. Now, I'm not going to lie, that is unbelievably cheeky. It is very cheeky. But I thought, like, my team was taking some attention from them. So not like, really. A little bit, yeah, but not uh, really. Yeah. Yeah. What would you need for estimate. this to work? Sigma on high ground. Okay. Or like what somebody else would you need this to work? Uh, them, the enemy team trying to push on somebody. Or like okay. That. Think about your team. You need Sigma on high ground. You don't have it. You're not going to get it. Okay. What I else need my Lucio with me. Ah, right. Right. So if you're going to go for this sort of aggression, you need your Lucio with you. Uh, and you need, I hope to goodness that you're communicating this so that your Sigma can at least poke some damage up here, right? Maybe yeah, even yeah. your Lucio goes for a boop here. This would be a great time to go for a boop, actually. Um, yeah, something to consider. Now, why does this work besides the fact that you hit the shot, obviously? Um, what did you have? Because I have disruptor shots. What else did you have? Uh, 50 to rail. What else did you have? Slide. Slide. You got me? Yeah. There you go. Just keep that in mind. Okay. It's a lot like a lot of other DPS function like this. You know, Hanzo on yeah. a flank. If you have your Sonic Storm, you're good. Uh, Soldier, you have your Helix healing, you're good, right? So there's a lot of heroes that aren't just Tracer with recall that actually function like Tracer with or without recall, depending yeah. on how aggressive they can go, right? So you had you had everything that go going for you. Now the funny other thing too is that your team is actually trying to help you. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and even little things like we talked about the Lucio boop, and sure enough, there, there's, that's where he is, right? So um, just keep that in mind. Like that could be something that you guys could synchronize as a unit rather than you going in by yourself, you leaving, and then your team goes yeah, in and afterwards. Then my team going in, yeah. Right. And, and the reason why you need to be the one calling that is not the DPS need to be the shot callers, but it's because you're the one that wanted to make a play. Okay. So if your Lucio calls to go for a boop, then you need to do this. If your May calls that she wants to wall up top, then you need to do this. But if you're the first one to recognize an opportunity, then you need to be the one calling it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a this is a high risk, high reward play. Obviously. So I actually think yeah. it could have worked. Even even your BAP, like if your BAP knows this, he can walk forward and jump up here and just throw a lamp right in there and you're fine, even if you do get walled. Yeah, true. <sighs> yeah. Got a nice little stagger going on here, and that's gonna be second point cap. Should be. Okay, here's where we get like hard stuck. Well, their comp is a little bit better, right? Yeah. Um, I think Ryan. This well, we talk about. Yeah, I, I do think Ryan is a little bit better, especially on third point here. Um, I think people forget why people, they're play Sigma. It's to control spam DPS and into anti Bastion, right? So yeah. if they ever do this here, um, well, you probably need to go Ryan or you need to go Bastion or, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, because I felt like I was in get like I was getting a pick or two in like pre-fight, but we still couldn't like really push. Yeah, 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 it's not gonna work. Now this is again the feeding here, right? So yeah, I want you higher rail, and I also want you what? What do you need for this to work? Uh, Lucia. Or right? I mean, at this point, it could yeah. be anybody, right? Yeah, like, anybody. Really, someone with me. Yeah. Right. So we said Lucia earlier because of the position, but here a May could be really useful right here. But yeah. right now, it's like you're pushing way, way, way in front of your team. And this is a backline awareness problem. And this is yeah. also a communicational problem. I promise, I promise you it's both of them. Because if yeah. somebody, if you call this, somebody will jump, unless they're like Neanderthals, they will call you off. Um, but then you wouldn't even call it if you knew where your team was right here. So this yeah, is just a total yeah. fiend. Because it seems even like your Lucio is aware of you going for this. He's trying to help, but he just, you're, 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 you actually kill him, right? Um, yeah. So, yeah.
All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's keep looking at the disruptor shot, by the way. Thoughts? Good disruptor shot. I think so too. Are you guys combo. Yeah. That's. I don't know where that sojourn comes from. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think she slid yeah. in from main. Yeah. He just ignores my sigma. Ten what? HP. This guy's freaking toggling on you. What the fuck? Oh no 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 no! I know why you guys are full hold. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, you can you have my permission to flame him. He's contenders, he's better than me. Mm. They can't flame Captain Fresh. But you guys use okay, so the worst part about this is I know we're not this is mostly a sojourn battery, but I guess it's good for you to know this. You guys use Flux May and they didn't even beat. If they don't yeah. beat, you shouldn't combo. If they don't have beat, you shouldn't combo. So you use three ultimates for zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not not good. Flux I first, force the beat, then Blizzard. Um, yeah, and then please don't use beat like that. I think it was a communication move. Mm -hmm. I think you tried to save me, but it was kind of late as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this angle. This is where you can have Lucio support here. Because um, you guys aren't really going to be pushing, just mostly poking. Yeah. So this is unironically a decent angle for like Lucio spam. And then also he can heal you. And then, yeah, all that. I'm curious to see what happens with Rail here. I felt like you weren't 100 yet. Maybe you were. I was 100, I think. Oh yeah, you were, you were, you were, you were. He just plopped shield up at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's fine. Thoughts? This E is really good, I think. I think so too, why? Uh, it makes them hesitate on if they want to push forward, or will go back in. Mm -hmm. It like gives them like, a little, tiny bit of time to react. And then mm -hmm. Ryan's also pushing in on, on his own. So if it's What's wrong with your Ryan, screen right then? Like, what's, what's wrong with your screen right now then? Excuse me. Uh, the placement of the E. Placement of the potentially, but also look at your HP, you see? Yeah. Yeah. So why is this the case? Uh May shoots me twice. Well, I'm yes, but also where are your supports? The, yeah, the my Lucio goes off and my Bap is looking so, at the right. Honest question here. Did you go into this angle calling that I'm going to be looking for OC? Uh OC? Yeah, overclock, sorry. Uh yeah, I said well, pre I said I'm gonna use overclock. Like this fight. Well, that, but that's not helpful. That's yeah, marginally yeah. helpful, right? Because yeah. your Lucio doesn't know when that is, your Baptiste doesn't know when that is, so they don't know when to put resources into you. So when the Rhine starts to push on main, they're not thinking, they'll survive, I need to stay here to help my overclock. Your Lucio's thinking, oh, I need to peel this off. Okay. And so this great Disruptor shot, or at least in theory, right, and this great yeah. overclock might be totally wasted. You kind of see what I'm saying? Like, even now, you're yeah. in serious trouble. Like, you have to end up giving up the angle because you almost freaking died at May. You see that? Yeah. Major, 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 major issue. Because you were going to be the way that your team was going to win this fight. It's on you. Yeah. It's on your shoulders. And you end up dying to a body shot May Icicle. A body shot. Yeah. If you had how much more HP? 11. Or no, 12. 12 more yeah. HP, and you guys win this fight. 12. 12 HP, and you win this fight. Ouch. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hate to see it. Yeah, any questions so far? Uh, no. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, yeah. Not doesn't pretty... need to be super complicated. You're already good at the game, so... I mean, this is whatever. Just hits a rail. So that we don't need to be as focused on, like these tiny little details over and over and over again. Yeah. It's patterns, you know? It's patterns. Everything is patterns, you know? Uh, you you take go for a play, you don't communicate it properly in time. You don't get support. You die, or you should have died. Yeah, that's Stuff why like I, that. I, um, I actually hate when, like, coaches or players go over, like, one specific play that hasn't ever, like, been a mistake before. Because it's, like, right. it's harder to fix a mistake than it is harder to fix a pattern. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a pattern for you, right? Yeah. Why is this disruptor shot a mistake? Because you can just kite out. Well, I guess here's this question. Back. Is this Ryan pushing forward into you? 
No, no, I he's not. You know, he's not. No. You know, he's yeah. not. You know, he's not. He's, he'd be an idiot if he did, right? And if he yeah. does, then you can disrupt the shutdown. So then, what? He, what is he here for? He's here to throw a fire strike and he's here to back up. Yeah. Is your disruptor shot creating space? No, no, he was it never planning on like walking forward. Is. Right. So you're like, oh, I'm zoning him out, but he was never intending to walk forward in the first place, yeah. right? So then, if you wanted a disruptor shot for space right here, how is yeah. your disruptor shot for space? Maybe not in this now, exact so, second, yeah. but like let's say in one or two seconds, you would peek this and do what? Yeah, just um, disrupt the shot, May and Ryan. Sure. So then, if they back up now, are they happy with it? No, no. They've given up so much space. They want to hold here, so you're saying no, you can't hold here. I have to back up. So whenever you disrupt a shot for space, make sure it's space that they wanted to hold in the first place, okay. right? Whether it's an off angle or a peak. So you're right because if you if you disrupt a shot this right May, very uncomfortable, very very annoying. Very annoying for them, right? And not just the Ryan May, you could also disrupt the shot at the BAP, disrupt the shot at the Lucia, make them rotate away, disrupt the shot at this high ground, make sure the Sojourn can't hold it up here. All sorts of things that you can do with this disruptor shot. Yeah. So it's not that disruptor shot for space is bad, it's just this make sure that it's actually space that they want to they want to hold, right? Yeah. That was all fine and all. But again, I want to kind of like point out that like, is your team like looking to push here? Uh, no. Is the, is the enemy team likely to push through here? Like push over here and slam you guys? Yes. Okay. I'd say so. Okay. So then where should your Lucio be? Tricky, isn't it? Uh, hmm, yeah. Because I could, you're right. Because they might, they might push through here, and he might need the speed boop, right? Yeah. Um, but then the other problem is, is that when you're on this angle, you're not getting support here. Yeah. Question is, is was this called for me when you took this angle? No. No. It call was it. Not. Call it. You don't even need to be talking right now because you're focused on your mechanics. So when should you call it? Um. No. Agreed. Now and then, just let your Lucio and Baptiste decide if they want to support you or not. Maybe even Thing talk is, to them about it, right? Go ahead. Our comp structure is like because because like some of the players are newer. Um, <sighs> I found we found that uh, they don't really talk as much. So me and my Lucio had to. So he does the old track, and I have to do the fight plan. So it's mm. kind of hard for me to fit in. Like, oh yeah, I want to go right side also. Well, when is the fight planning happening? The pre-fight. Pre-fight. Is this pre-fight? Yeah. No, but then I I also like. Uh, I don't know. The comms are just always cluttered, like essentially. So I think we got to fix that also. Well, so what? What is it cluttered with? Because you're talking about like, oh, there's not a lot of people talking, just you and you, um, or you and Lucio, like, and then. Uh, my tank also talks. He's like, uh, so basically, I think here was like, uh, uh, like careful, 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 or something like that. Uh, okay. Walk in whenever, something like that. Sure. So. I don't want you to overwhelm yourself with information here, right? Like we need to be very yeah. careful. But I do think this is something that this, to me, like the, the, the thing with communication is it's a lot like the food pyramid, right? Uh, yeah. At least the non-scuffed version of the food pyramid where it's like, you know, there's certain things that should be communicated a lot. There's certain things that should be communicated sometimes. And there's certain things that should be communicated very rarely. Yeah. Um, things like careful, careful should be communicated very rarely. It should yeah. be very obvious. But some things that should be communicated often, ult tracking, Taking angles, fight planning, and well, not just taking angles, but when you're making a play. Okay. Because ask yourself, what is your team doing right now? Are they making nothing. plays? No, no they're, doing they're standing nothing. still and poking, right? And they might whittle down an opportunity, but there is nothing of note to point out. Yeah. Do you remember the same situation here, right? Yeah. Now, if my Sigma were to call in that exact same situation, remember that fight, don't do anything, just push cart. Is that a play? No, I mean, yeah, it is a play. It is a play. Like, yeah. It is a play, actually. Because what does it imply? What does it tell you to do? Be passive. Be passive, right? It tells you exactly what you're supposed to do, right? If yeah, there so is if nothing say, being... Like, go ahead. If I say, like, go right side, it tells my team that just waits for a second until, like, I do something. and then they or, can... or it even tells them the peak at the same time to enable you to play, yeah, true, right? Yeah. Or, or it tells, like, my Sigma to fish for a rock on May or fish for a rock on backline. Even if there's no chance of landing it, just to distract them and set you up. It tells my Lucio, hey, you might have to make a decision here if you think that you need to peel off this or you need to go help this. It tells my BAP that maybe I could be looking looking for, I might need to be looking to bail my, my Sojourn out or maybe my May looks for a wall, right? So you're, you're giving your team a play to set up a round, either for you to okay. feed and your team to win the fight or for them to distract the other team and you get to kill. Because you okay. are going to be the reason that your team breaks this choke here. Yeah. 
you are going to be the reason that they lose or win. And it's based off of that. So if you go for this play here and you don't get support either directly or indirectly just through them distracting, because you look at how passive yeah, they, your teammates are, just, right? That team can just look at me for free. Right, right. We need them at already. least shooting, right? We don't want your team necessarily pushing, but they do need to be peeking and shooting backline. Yeah. But they're not. So, so this is one, two, three resources, three people looking at you, and what did your team get out of it, right? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing. Yeah. right. Right? Yeah. Uh, is that Ryan going to be walking up and over that stone wall anytime soon? Uh, I'd say maybe, but I maybe. don't know the exact timing, so it's not good. Exactly, exactly. So you can just wait. Mm -hmm. This is where a disruptor shot would be really nice, you know? Yeah. You see it? Good slide. Walk. That's bad. Oh, he's looking about it. He's thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, even this disruptor shot here, this actually means something, right? Like, it makes it awkward for him. It doesn't, you kind yeah. of misplace it a little bit. Like, you didn't put it where you wanted it to be. But in terms of the timing there, it was, it was good, right? Like, that was, he wanted to push or kite and he couldn't really do anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, remember, <laughs> what should be uh, called here? Yeah, I do call him. I'm, I'm left side top. Right, right. So I, I'm telling you, you need to be supported up here. You need to be supported. Up here, I think. Yeah, I um, do get flanked. I, it's, I think it's really important because, like, remember this: you are going to be the reason that your team wins this fight. You have nothing else to play around right here, right? Yeah, they're going to come out with Shadow. They're going to come out with B. You need your Lucio up here. Um, I mean, I guess your Bab can see you, but I don't, I don't really see any reason for your Lucio to be on card here. Yeah. This now. You know. It's Flanked, yeah. You know, that that that's how you lose this fight. And the funny thing else as well, I know we're flaming your Lucio this VOD, but I don't care. Okay. Uh, he shouldn't have been there. He should not have been on yeah. card. He needed to be with you. That's that's because because if he's with you, you guarantee live. He guarantee gets the beat off for your for your Sigma, and then we we win. Yep. There you go. You guys even had a decent setup with your BAP and you, but your Lucio is totally trolling. He um, does do a little bit of grief that's, in this That's side. okay. That's okay. It's just the minute of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Essentially. Mm -hmm. I like the Lucio support here. I mean, look at this, right? Easy, easy angle. No chip yeah, damage matters there. Gary. Good wall. Mm -hmm. Maybe not necessary to do that, but no. right. yeah. oops. Oh, sorry, we'll take it. Hold for lamp is not the worst. Yeah, I, I like it. hard troll. I like yeah, the, the, the shot. Uh, it could have been. Is that space that they want? Yes. Yes. So it's fine. Okay. I think it's fine. It, it makes it very uncomfortable. I mean, look, right? Like, they had to check this out. Wide peak. I, I yeah, bet yeah, you didn't even wide. notice this, right? Watch this. Ooh, you see that? Uh, see what yeah, he had to use? Window, yeah. You force, shift, force, you force your shift. Like, shift is really... A shift for, for, for E is a uh, good value, I think. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, good job. I think this idea is good. I just completely forget there's a walk... Like, I can walk left as well. Because I'm trying to go on the sojourn. And I... Yeah, she just catches me. I mean, again, this is just something you need to call because, like, you're looking at this point in time. It's like you are the reason that your team is going to win this. So, call, call, call. Yeah, call. I did call this. I did okay, call th this. then then your team needs to support you better because Balji is shooting Rhine Shield and, and it could be rotating with you on this. Server. Yeah. So this is this is this is this is a Lucio Vod review. You just didn't know it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seriously, you look at that and you're like, this should be O W. There's no reason this should not be a W. Um, yeah, I think it's too focused on the core trade. When he needs to like trust that your tank won't just instantly die because then you're losing these flank wars and then your 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 jungle queen is dying to a flank sojourn, so, like yep. preventative action here. Okay, um, any questions so far? No, I think attack is straightforward as well. It's it's the same uh, same kind of thing. Okay, okay. Do you want to keep looking or do you want to look at another code? Uh, we can look at Colosseo. Okay, sounds good. So, what were the main takeaways so far? 
Uh, is my disruptor shot actually getting value? Is it doing something? Uh, is my disruptor? Let's give me more. You can be more specific. Is my E actually getting space that the enemy team wants to hold okay. or push? Okay. What else? Yeah. Um, I, if I'm going on an angle, I need support from uh, like a hard angle. Like, uh, I need support from Alicia. Um, play. I wouldn't even say as for the Lucio, because sometimes I think just even making a communicational play, like we saw once or twice where like even a May with you or a BAP would have been better than a Lucio, yeah. right? So yeah, true. Um, um, if you are making a play, you are the calm focus. Like there is not, there is nothing that is more important, not scouting, not cooldowns, not character care, nothing. Not even ult tracking is as important as if you're making a play. Uh, okay. okay. Anything else? Um, I'm I think that was mostly so. it. Yeah, I think that, I think was, that was mostly it. Okay, okay, sounds good. Um, let's uh, let's look at calls. Is this more sojourn? Yeah, more sojourn. We also get stuck at a point here. Like, well, the good news. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. We, we push until like a uh, hundred meters, and then we just get stuck. Hmm. Okay. Well, the good news here is that now that we have like a little bit of a frame for what you need to work on. We can then just kind of like hold you up to that frame and be like, are these things also issues? Are they still issues? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's uh, stick it. Oh, I guess no, no questions. I think I've already asked you that. Just to make sure. No, no, no questions. Okay. By the way, the whole space thing, it's, it applies to anything that you match up versus. Same thing with the Sigma comp, Sigma mirror. Same thing. Any site line that they want to hold or they're pushing or your team is pushing or they're pushing into you, that's that's good disruptor shot usage. Thank you. The only difference I would say is if both teams are kind of stacking and looking at each other, the way to win a spam war is to disrupt or shot an angle that they want to use to spam. Okay. And so then, then they can't peek or they have to use cooldowns to peek and then you can no, just more peek. free. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if it's more static, just use disrupt or shot to disrupt, to disrupt an angle. I mean, it's aptly named. Disrupt or shot is a great name. Yeah. Everything stops here. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying you know to I'm my saying? team... Yeah, I tell my team, just just hold, just wait. This is a play, right? This is a play. Yeah. This is either going to lose you or win you the fight, right? Yeah. I like it. I mean, any any way to, to cheese Kalasea, I mean, I'm of all guys like that, right? So I will say just call this, and then I would I would say probably don't want to send Lucio here because it might give away the flank. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, love it. Love to see it. Nice job. Um, kind of, kind of got scammed, but to be honest with you, like, I think I look at this and I'm like, he's just dead anyway. I don't need to disrupt or yeah. shot this. I thought my, Lu that Lucio was coming over. Like, yeah, yeah. Over. But then like, you, I, then I want to disrupt or shot this now, you know, but I, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Okay. Nice job. I like that proactivity. I think there's nothing in that world more valuable than either a tank main that is a good communicator, a smart tank player, uh, or a proactive DPS player. I yeah, so I find it in, in scrims or even ranks or even like World Cup matches, the, the yeah. way people lose is by letting the other team do yeah. what they want. Yeah, it's so not even like, like a going fast versus going slow. You, you could be a very proactive slow team where yeah. you, ex you go, the things. second that they do this, guys, we're going to do this. Or the second that they do this, we're going to do this. Or I'm going to take this angle. If they push me, let's counter with this. Like a lot of like, people think it confused fast versus slow, but it's, it's more about knowing exactly what you're doing and yeah. having that sort of like confidence. But yeah, like I said, uh, a smart tank player and a proactive DPS player, two most valuable positions in the game, in my opinion. That's what I like to see. It's like proactive and confident, you know, like having that confidence yeah. mechanically is like really, really important. Okay, let's, uh, let's talk about this disruptor shot usage. I feel like it's pretty obvious, right? I don't know if yeah. we're not planning on holding here, but at least it checks us the box of they want to push this space. It makes it uncomfortable. I mean, look, right? Yeah, e you know, look, at, yeah. made backs up, bat turns around, right? So it's a good, it's a good disruptor shot. Now, obviously, you have to ask yourself, were we planning and holding that position anyway? But at the very least, you know what? It, it, it kind of allows you guys to rotate without dying, or at least it should yeah. have, right? So that's fine. Yeah, it's just it's just too 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 much goofiness from your team. But the disruptor shot was good. <clears throat> good.
So this is where you can start to ask yourself at some point you guys are going to want to drop. Right. At some point, yeah. you guys are going to want to drop into like, so this is it. Is this an, are you guys like hard engaging? No, but it does feel like we're actually spamming pretty heavily here. Yeah. So, what I want you to do is I want you to keep your eyes open to see if there's a sight line that you can deny with your disruptor shot so that your team can walk forward and contest easier. Okay. I would say this is where you're going to be pretty picky about what you disruptor shot, but you, you'll, you're yeah. looking for opportunities starting like right opportunities, now. Opportunities, but that, yeah, that exactly. Much value. Exactly. So, you're like, hmm. If I see this like right here, I mean, honestly, here, let me go back a little bit. I wouldn't hesitate as soon as I see Sigma Shield drop, I would consider even disruptor shotting this now. Okay. Just so, I mean, what, what does it get? What value does it get? Let's May and Sig from Lucio Bap. Right. So, so then it puts pressure on them. It puts damage on them. It prevents them from peaking to do damage, which then allows your team to walk forward and contest a little bit easier. Yeah. It's like it's like not like there's a lot of pushing or pulling going on here, but your team is walking forward and it allows us to walk forward without taking damage okay. um, or allows you to hold this angle here without worrying about getting spammed. So um, it, it's the same definition of, but it's there, there's a little bit of flexibility with how you apply it. Yeah. I mean, that is I just fine. Use it, use it. Though. Right, right. Well, I mean, it's fine as long as you saw. The the, I saw the yeah, sig, yeah. right, right. Like as long as you saw the sig, then yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, my scroll wheel is nice. I mean, it's not a whole lot to say. The angle was definitely super cheeky, but you know what? It was well timed. The disruptor shot was fine. You had your CDs. You hit your shots. Easy. That's a. Pretty cheap fight win, honestly. Um, wait, did yeah, you guys? We we used, yeah, actually, yeah. we used flux and window. I didn't see window. I thought you just used flux, but okay. Well, we'll take it, I guess. See, that's where you're going for the more conservative decision, to where you're like, I don't want to use my disruptor shot because I know I'm going to back up anyway, right? Yeah. Which I, I, I think is generally the smart decision. Now, this is where it gets really funny. Where could you use Disruptor Shot right here? Up top. Up top. Now, are you going to be pushing up top? No, but no. it stops them from peaking. And what allow, push it allows you to push elsewhere? Yeah. Right? Where would that be? Um, where, where can I put it elsewhere? So, no, no. It allows you to push elsewhere. So, you Disruptor Shot top, but you push where? We can push main. Exactly. Because now, are these guys doing damage from up top? No, most likely no. two of them or one of them is going to drop, right. so the drop high ground is going to right. be less. Like, so you control there. an off angle with the disruptor shot and push elsewhere. You yeah. just push main. Exactly. Yep. Because you don't have to worry about that, right? You see and see that. You see how their disruptor shot controlled more space than yours? Yeah, yeah. I mean, used yours, right? Yeah. But you actually end up having to give up an angle and got your slide forced when you really should have got your disruptor shot forced and held the position. Yeah. So you're actually losing space because you're not using your disruptor shot. You know yeah. what this is? Yeah. Which is now means that your positioning here is pretty bad. Good disruptor shot. Whew. That was a really nice shot. I'm not going to lie on that yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. Uh... Like, that was crazy fast. Okay. Nice job. Yeah, nice. Love to see it. See, the funny thing is, is you could even use a disruptor shot like now because yeah, they're, 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 they're committing. They want to push now. So yeah. this is where, okay, you could be, you could think about it this way. If I use my disruptor shot now, can they kite back? No. I mean, kind of. Yeah, like, that's, yeah that's the answer I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind yeah, yeah. of. But, the, but why, why did you initially say no? It's a lot of open space and I'm full rail. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It's uncomfortable, right? And then even yeah. think about it from like a macro perspective. If they, if this, remember when we talked about earlier with disruptor shot? Oh, it only bought you three or four seconds. Was it worth it, right? Well, yeah. no. Wait a second. Look at the look at the objective situation right now. What does three or four seconds do for you right now? Gives us cap. Gives you cap, right? Or makes it very scary that you're going to get cap, which probably forces them to panic, right? Yeah. You kind of see it. So even even from like buying three or four seconds, that's not never worth it. Sometimes it is worth it. 
Sometimes, like for example, let's say in King of the Hill, like let's say, uh, you know, Leeching Tower Garden, right? Everyone's rushing to cross yeah. the bridge. Let's say you proactively disruptor shot the bridge before you even see anybody just to make sure that your team gets the rotation across, right? Yeah. Um, that might be worth it. I don't know. That's something to kind of consider, right? So just something to consider. Like a disruptor shot here would be totally fine. Okay. No, she was she was just not peeking. Nah, I, I I know what you're doing in this disruptor shot, but I don't I just don't like it. You know. Yeah, I, I realized after like yeah. it's not very good because she just can peek the other window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fact, I think the other window would be the the better one to peek because yeah. honestly, if this hit here and she just didn't peek at all or peeked here, yeah, I think it would be worth it. She gets minimal value there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's worth it. Again, it's about controlling space, right? It's not just about pushing yeah. and pulling; it's about controlling an off angle, and that disruptor shot does not control an off angle. But you guys do get cap. So, love to see it. I love the rigidity that I see in your um, crosshair as you start to approach rail. I mean, it's I can see the transition to hitscan aim, basically, coming in. I didn't even um, notice it, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you can see it, see it right here. Um, I think it's here. No, I think it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. You yeah, see that you kind of you yeah. rigid, you kind of freeze up just a second. Um, yeah, I, that's something that I, I try and work with a lot of BPS players on and incorporating like that transition to hit scan brain, that little pause. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I, like I played a lot of surgeon in season one. Like mm -hmm. it shows, it. it shows. Again, I think it's probably fine because it encourages him not to peek this. The only reason yeah. why I would say maybe not good is why. He can drop. He can drop. Right. Well, no, wait a second. But but you're making him drop, right? Is that not controlling space? Uh, yes, but he wants to drop anyway. Why? Because there's a window and he knows. That's it, right there. It's redundant, is what it is. He, he doesn't want to be peeking this space anyway. I, I don't think yeah. anyway. So then why would you throw insult to injury here? There's no point. Because they yeah. don't want to control the space anyway. So so control space elsewhere. Don't use it. Throw it here on the Sigma flank where they don't want to push that. You know, because he's already on the way out, right? So yeah. I'm like, I, I, I'm actually shocked that it actually gets a lot of value. I'm actually t shocked. So, um, but it yeah. shouldn't. It shouldn't. I don't know why he stays up here. I, I don't know why he stays up here as well. He's peeking the window. I have no idea. So whatever. <laughs> That's not a whole lot to say. It's a good push. And then this is where you guys get stuck? Uh, yeah, essentially it doesn't move past that point. Or like maybe like five meters. Okay, let's like let's keep going here. Um, I think good. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so too, right? Right, because like you're deaf, there's, there's action happening here, right? Yeah. Uh, I, it's a little bit cheeky from you, but again, like, I think I'd always rather a DPS player that has a little bit of that W key, you know, in the yeah. offset. It's easier to teach you to be, because I, I don't think you're a stupid player, you're a smart player, right? You just need like a little bit of discipline, right? Same yeah, thing, same thing with this here, right? And a lot of that, you're, even a lot of your feeds on Eichenwald were just a communicational failures. Yeah. They were not, the play itself was bad. The play itself is good, but how you coordinate it with your team is bad, right? <laughs> Like even this here needs to be you asking for some, because I don't look at this and be like, oh, this is a feed. I say, this is a feed because- my so, team is not here, yeah. Right, you don't have any support at all. No shield, no Lucio, no bat, no nothing. Uh, that's so, one of my problems, especially in ranked. I'm like, uh, like I go for these plays and I'm like, my team should know to be here with me, but like, how are they meant to know? Right, like, right, exactly, exactly. So I actually think this is, this is fine. This is just one of those things where it's like, oh, it shouldn't have happened, but it's not the play itself that is bad. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, skip going. Okay. Not so fast. This is this is great, right? This is huge yeah. space, right? Like huge, huge space. They're gonna have to either press W or press S, and either one's gonna be really bad. The Probably spam trade is six yeah. shift, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I actually just think the placement's kind of. Cruddy. I think it was just a yeah. little too close, you know, <clears throat> where you'd want it just like a meter deeper, right? Just like, just like yeah. right on that maze toes, you know. Um, but it's still gonna get decent value. It's still uncomfortable for Sigma. Um, 
Um, let's see here. This is again a situation where like I know you're you're I don't know if you're communicating or not, but like definitely you could be asking for like Lucio pocket yeah, here, yeah, which I, I think I you get. Here, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you do get it. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Is there Lucio will try to mirror you and clear you up? Yeah. Kind of surprised that you left the angle here, to be honest with you. Uh I guess scared of the like the flux, so I'm guessing. Oh, it's, it's BAP end. window. I, I didn't hear BAP window, my bad. Yeah. I think here, if the fight is in this location here, what's the best position you could be? High ground. High ground, right. So like I, you dropped because you thought the fight was going to be here, and then it pushed forward to here. So then you need to be able to rotate to this you angle here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, that's Sojourn's best strength along with soldiers, is the fact that you should always be in a good off angle because you should never be like, oh, I thought the fight was going to be here, but then it rotated here and I didn't know what to do. That's a Hanzo problem. Yeah. That's a Cassidy problem. That's a Widow even problem. That's never, should, should never be a Sojourn problem. Okay. Because even shooting through back window here is just not worth it. Um, good disruptor shot. Again, space, isolation. Just live, whittle through it. Good target priority here. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. You're good, I, you're I was good. trying to find the Sojourn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Still a fine fight for you guys. Big old bank dump from everybody involved, and you guys win it, yeah. so we'll take it. <clears throat> now, nah, I think you're still down one. Yeah, right? we are. I think. No, 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 we're not. We are, we're not. Well, your Sigma hasn't rotated. Okay, yeah, yeah, your team hasn't rotated. Yeah, your team hasn't, your, bat, your Sigma hasn't rotated. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I was like, I don't, know where I don't know why he goes there. Just Again, disruptor shot opportunity you. right there. Yeah, you're waiting too yeah. long to use it because this fight is committed. You need to prevent them from pressing W on you right now. As soon as yeah. you see this, bam! There's your there's your disruptor shot right there. Yeah. Because I'm like, if we get out, maybe I can use it like soon. Sure, sure. I, I think that's the key thing, though. If, right? If yeah. I think you need yeah. to sometimes in those situations like that disruptor shot might have been what have kept your May alive. I think your May should have died there. To be honest with you. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. As long as you have the right idea, if you think that you can get out and save it, then I don't care. You just need to rotate underneath and push robot. Yeah. Yeah, that is what we do, but I get caught off because I get poked. Oh, I think. Well, you're late on the rotation is what yeah, happens. Yeah. You, you're yeah. late on the rotation because your team is pushing robot and you're pushing top. Yeah. You see? So this is never, 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 never going to work unless, yeah. what would you need this to, for this to work? Black Rail. order, right? Rail, what else would you need this to work? Think about your team. Uh, someone with me. Uh, I think them taking attention. Could, Maybe right. BAP. BAP's BAP's Orchestrate me, the right. entire push. Where's your BAP? Uh, BAP's on high ground with me or is he okay. on low ground? Just, uh, okay. Shooting okay. Me, Pro probably high ground with you, honestly. Okay. Yeah, where's, yeah. where's your Lucio? Uh, my Lucio and... Sigma probably right side and just okay. like try and take a your may. may also probably right side. Mm -hmm. Actually, your may can wall up. I prefer your may to wall up here. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. your may would wall up. She'd wall in front of this this here, just so that you guys can walk forward and take the space here. You'd actually wall in front of the sigma, just to block yeah. off their damage, so you can't brawl with you. Shoot, 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 shoot here. Drop wall, brawl with them, uh, and then that allows your team to rote and may say meet here. Um, yeah. Like you can orchestrate the whole thing. I guess the thing, the takeaway for you is going back to the previous Eichenvaldi, which was like, like you need to communicate oh, this, yeah. right? Because this is how you're going to win this fight. It's not yeah. going to be through this. Or your Sigma says nothing, play passive, push card, in which case you're rotating through here and just rotating with your team to, to rotate push card, right? Yeah. You're either passively playing this or you're proactively taking an angle. Your team does one, you do the other, so now yeah. you're lagging behind the rotation, then you die. Um, yep. Yeah. It's still a good shot, but I think that rotation is miserable either way. Yeah. I mean, it's this not a whole lot. So bad. Yeah, I was going to say. Looks like me. Junk right out players, man. <laughs> Junk right players. <laughs> For real. Okay. Again, appreciate the disruptor shot discipline here. Now, this is interesting here. 
You know these concepts and you don't even realize it. Where you're thinking this disruptor shot is probably well in theory is not going to get a lot of damage but it, i mean it may or may not okay so how they would they kite why? why why how why why who is committed uh sigma's committed and the sigma. backline is yeah so the backline's in the back so they have to be like okay do we push in or do we come back right just so, so if the backline comes back sigma's shield gets broken shift forced yeah which yeah. is a phenomenal cooldown trade for a disruptor shot if the backline yeah. commits then you're going to see regenerative burst um, and a very awkward rotation at that. Maybe yep. we see regenerative burst. Let's see. We, do not. we don't, but, but that's 30, 40 damage on everybody involved, right? Yeah. It's still worth it. It slows up the rotation. Good job. But yeah, exactly. So like, you don't need the whole team to commit for the space to be useful. As soon as yep. anybody is committed, you can then use it to make it really awkward for them. And then, you know, it's awkward. <laughs> Obviously missing the real kind of sucks, but yeah, yeah. it happens. The only thing I'd be careful of here is is obviously you can probably see what say what I'm gonna yeah. see what I'm going to say here. Guard the slide. Yeah. Guard the slide. Because that's exactly what they were waiting for. I'm, I thought I would die there. But I should trust like my team. Well, what what you you probably would have died there. So then that needs to change your positioning here. So as you walk forward to here, you need to be already backing up to the corner. Okay. So it's not, this wasn't the mistake. This was necessary. Okay. This was the mistake. Just staying there. Right, right after yeah. this disruptor shot, you could be just pressing S, shoot, press S, press, press S, press yeah, S, press S. I thought, S, press S, press S, go, I thought the, uh, the Sigma would um, go onto my, uh, my Sigma. Right, 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 right. That mate is really bad. Again. Yeah. But yeah, they should never, should never force resources just because you mismanage your shift. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can never use your shift when they have that, but you just better darn well make sure that it's um, that you get good value out of it. Because if you if you yeah. if you don't get value out of it, then you're just dead. Yeah. I think I back off here. I think I back off here. Yeah. I think you guys are kind of staggering yeah. here. Um, you guys talk about being stuck in that location. That's just part of the map, to be honest with you. <laughs> like it's just they have such a they have an over they have a not overwhelming, but they have a pretty significant defender's advantage. And you guys have to worry yeah, about robot. Yeah. So that's just the nature of push. In fact, there were times in London early on in our push meta where we would waste ultimates in, when the robot was in this location here pushing just so that we could get the robot to here and here. Because we knew if we did that, we knew that we were basically one team fight away from winning. Because yeah, we would lose, we would lose, we'd win in the choke, or we'd win over here, and we push it up to here, and then we'd lose again, and then we'd win, and we'd lose again, and we win, and then it'd be OT, and we just knew we had to win one more fight, and that was GG's because we would always have a lead. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's, it's just it's just the nature of the point. Again, one of those cheeky plays where it's like, I actually, I actually think this one I would get support if I were you. I the do element have my loot skill with me. Oh, you I do! Think. Ah, look at you! Nice job. Because I'm thinking like the element of surprise here is kind of important, but like you're going to be here for a while, so you're definitely yeah. going to need support. I don't love how the rest of your team is playing this. Honestly, I, I think a little bit more proactivity here. Yeah, I, think, I think they need to push up a little bit more. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too. Fortunately, that happens. Yeah. I would not have been scared for you guys to combo that sooner, to be honest with you. I know we're coaching yeah, Lucio a lot in this VOD, but I definitely think that that should have been used earlier. Um, looks like you guys are okay, though. Yeah, okay. Um, anything to add or to elaborate on from our previous points? Um, no, just more of the same, really. I think so, too. I think so, too. Um, obviously, a little bit of macro stuff about am I going an angle? Uh, you know, definitely communicating. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I'd add listen if passive is called. Make sure to follow the plan. So obviously you're you're kind of the, the alpha Chad of the party for most of the time. But there yeah, are I'm a lot of times where yeah. just pushing cart or pushing robot would have been a totally fine plan call. So if yeah. it is called, you need to follow that call with how you play too. Yeah. Um, so that you're not putting uh, resources elsewhere. Go ahead. I do have a question. How yeah. would I apply this in ranked? Because obviously I can't really <laughs> communicate with my team and disruptors did nail the disruptor shot practice. Okay, you could even go as far to practice the disruptor shot specifically in ranked and the communication in scrims. 
so that you don't have to worry about the disruptor shot and scrims. Yeah, true. and you can focus it's, full solely on your communication. Okay, is there any like mechanics I need to work on or anything? Was that no, all okay? No, I think it's just more practice is, is all there is. I think mechanics look reasonable. Okay, yeah, okay. I think that thing look reasonable. Obviously, we only looked at Sojourn today, but I think like those are the big things to, to work. On. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's about it. I'll, all right, uh, mate. Maybe I'll probably book a session in like.